Hey guys, it is Monday, so that means 75% off Monday. I am, well, I'm actually parting ways with Amy and Karen and Alma. Alma went to one of the locations with us and we haven't found Jack. I found a few things, but it's not like anything super exciting. And there's this girl that goes from place to place like we do and she had spice of life in her basket and I was so jealous. Anyway, we are going to call it quits for today as far as group shopping. I am going to go past my house to the one that is further out in the country, see if I can get anything there. And then after that, I'm going home and I'm going to get ready to list like a crazy person because ravioli is made. If you didn't see my last haul, ravioli is made and it's in the freezer and it's gonna be oh so delicious for dinner tonight and I don't have to do much else. So listing is going to be it or prepping to list or whatever, eBay stuff. That being said, yet again, I have failed you guys. I had every intention of vlogging throughout the morning this morning but it was kind of crazy. So I woke up, got Boogie off to school, came inside, edited my previous Monday haul video, and then went straight into making biscuits because Karen wanted biscuits. And then if I'm gonna make biscuits for Karen, then I have to make biscuits for the hubby, which means I have to make biscuits for the boy. So I made about 40 biscuits. And then I had to hurry up and get ready so I can meet the girls here. Alma was already here. I was like 15 minutes late. And uh, yeah, we went, we ran straight in, found a couple of things, nothing like OMG, but yeah, so I, it's been busy and I totally forgot to pick up the phone. Oh, actually that's why I had the video uploading on my phone. So I couldn't record because that's, I can't do the two things at once, otherwise it won't upload. So that being said, it's been interesting. Now I'm gonna leave here and drive all the way back home, about a 40 minute drive, and go to the location out there and see what I can find. And there I'll record a little bit with you guys and see if there's anything worth putting into the video. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the Bates house. So today is Tuesday morning. Unfortunately, I haven't been as productive as I would like. I have several orders that need to go out. I have this haul. I also have a bunch of inventory that I have sitting over off to the side that needs to get actually completely prepped and put into the shop. But I have a doctor's appointment today and when I have something that I have to do and I can't complete everything that I want to do, I kind of don't like to jump in and leave things halfway done, if that makes any sense. So I have everything in like a prepped state where it's like I know what we're going into and I know where I left off so that when I come home, I can just dive right into that and hit that hard for a while. So part of that requires me getting this haul done. So I went out yesterday with Karen and Amy and Alma and it was a lot of fun, but there wasn't anything out there and it was getting very frustrating. And we typically go to several stores together whenever they can come into town. And just to make a long story short, there wasn't anything really great. So we decided to go ahead and part ways at somewhat a decent hour. That way I could go to one store, pass to my house and then go home. And that is like, too far, two separate ways for all of us to go together. So that being said, 
I'm glad I did go to the one by my house though because it was pretty awesome and I am just super excited to dive into everything that we have here. The color of the week for 75% off Monday was yellow. Um, I didn't find much yellow stuff. I did find a few things, but a lot of the items that I did pick up were awesome. Now, starting off with the few yellow items that I did find. I think we could start with this one first. This I was actually eyeballing for some time at the store. It is framed by Tate's Frame Shop in Leak City, Texas. And it was regular price, seven bucks. And it's just a really cute fabric stitch work. I don't know what the different things are called, but I eyeballed this for some time and I thought it was so cute. It's just the little trees from the different seasons. It says winter, springtime, summer, fall. God bless the season and God bless us all. And it was made in 82 and it was seven dollars but it was yellow tag as well so that means i paid about a buck 75 for this cute frame two cutesy little things these are the things that i get suckered by just because they're only a few cents so this was two pieces for three dollars that means i paid 75 cents so divide that into the two pieces that's like 37 and a half cents or something or other anyway it's these two adorable little coffee grinder scene pictures. I love them. I saw them in the store some time ago. I didn't get them, but I was like, man, I can't not get it. It's got the little eagle and it's got the word coffee behind that. And I figured for 75 cents, I'll take them. Okay, so me and Amy both spotted this one. I told her she could have first dibs she said I told her if she didn't want it then I would take it because I would just put it into the shop for a few bucks it's a Mikasa country sleigh trinket box and again it's yellow tag so it was priced at four dollars that means I paid a buck for it it's just a really pretty Christmas sleigh and horse scene with the red barn in the background I thought that was adorable now I did look these up they don't resell for way you know they don't resell for too high but I mean I only paid a dollar for it and the shipping would be a nice small little box. It would be easy to package. So just a few bucks that I didn't have going in. So that is that. Next is this croc. I love these vintage crocs. I use them in my pantry. I use them for seasonings, peanut butter, anything pretty much. And I love them. This one was priced at $4 and I got it for $1. It does have its rubber on the inside. I don't know how great the condition is, but it's there. Anyway, for a buck, it's a great size. It's not the little tiny, like skinny ones. It's actually a nice medium size. So I was very excited to find that. I will be adding this to the collection of Crocs in our pantry. Okay, so this I thought was freaking awesome. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. It is a brand new Cheers trivia game. How cool is that like who doesn't know the cheers theme song and i was very young whenever cheers was like a thing so it's funny that even i like know it of course i watched all the reruns and stuff that they played for years but it's just a trivia game i think it said from 92 and the best part is that none of the pieces were actually taken out we're going to look at the actual board looks like that so I guess that's like the layout of the bar. Then we have the rule book and then all of the tokens for whatever reason that came with it. Y'all, I really need my coffee. I can't have my coffee because I have to take, go to my doctor's appointment and they said I had to fast, so it's horrible. Anyway, we all know these familiar faces on the box like it's just so cool and the pieces these are still new in the pack all the parts and pieces are still in the plastic they haven't been opened and then all the cards i was so excited about that anyway the whole game was two bucks and it was yellow tag so i paid 50 cents for this awesome set moving on i found these i saw these there whenever they were regular price yellow tag this one was $3 and the other one was $4, so I paid 75 cents for this one. It's not something that I'm absolutely in love with, but I thought they were adorable. 
and I didn't want them to go like to the bins or you know get damaged or anything because they're actually in really good condition they are just the small croc cute and then I found the big one so this one was 75 cents and this one was a dollar if you walked into a Dollar Tree or something and saw these pieces, you probably picked them up because they're heavy duty, they're great quality, they're old school, and they serve a very nice purpose. So there's that. A buck seventy-five for both of them. Now the last seventy-five percent off item is this bag of Christmas goodies here. I actually got this whole bag. It was priced at six dollars, but it's yellow tag, so I paid a buck fifty, and I actually paid that for this ornament. So the first ornament that's in the bag is this cute little like edge sitter Santa. And this is Hallmark. Yeah, he's a Hallmark Santa. There's this thing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I guess it's an ornament chain looking thing. It's pretty. Then we have this little snowman ball. I don't really care for him. We have these two little candle base things. I do believe you put these onto your candle holders and they sit down at the base or something like that. I thought they were cute. I always put them on different places throughout the house, just shove them into little nooks and crannies. So for me, they're just extra decor with these tiny little pine cones that are adorable. Okay, and then there's this one 2004 snowman ornament. We don't need that. But this is what I bought the whole bag for. It's this cute, big head Santa he's adorable I thought for sure the quality the size all that would definitely be valued at a buck fifty it's a nice piece it's not too heavy I have some pieces that like weigh down a whole branch in the tree but it's not too heavy you can tell that it is well made he's so cute so I got that so we're gonna move on into the regular price items. I'm going to go through all the drink related things first The first one though, I am super excited about and I know this is so simple and it's probably just gonna be like really That's what she's so excited about. Yes, I am so excited about it I even hollered at Amy and Karen from the cross store and I was like look at what I got. I'm so excited It is a vintage commuter mug. This is the Flambeau brand. It's dishwasher safe. But guys, these things are just so cool. It's a commuter mug, temp guard, insulated. And this is just the difference of quality between the travel mugs now and then the travel mugs of the then. This is like very nice. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Okay. I don't know what drew my love to these mugs, but I saw them. I saw one and then I was like, oh man, that's cool. I wish there was another one. And then I went further over and there was another one. So I was so excited. All right, so the commuter mug looks like this. And then you turn this thing here and that's your drink hole. And then like, it is, looks like that. And then it has the rubber lining And then it has these things, you know, when you separate your vacuum and it's got like those like clasp locks that kind of like join together and lock into place. That's what this cup does. So I was so happy to have two of them and they match my vintage coffee machine, which made it like a thousand times better. So I did pick up two of those. They were only 99 cents. There was no way I was going to leave those behind. I found this coffee press. Now coffee presses go very well online. I've sold them in my Etsy shop just fine and I'm pretty sure I can sell them in the eBay store just fine. What I liked about this one is that the handle was red. I wanted something a little different. I've seen a few since I've sold the ones that I already had but I didn't pick them up because I was like okay I've already done that. So this one was a nice red handle coffee press. It's fairly large and it's definitely used. I can't wait to clean this one up and have it all nice and pretty for whoever's gonna buy it. But it was only two bucks and you could get an easy 20 bucks out of this depending on what it goes for with the red handle, I don't know. I know the black ones sell very well so it'd be fun to try the red handle. Plus I know there's like more black out there so the person that wants the red handle is gonna be like, oh look, it's something for me, I wanna get it. Anyway, got that, it was only two bucks and I love it. 
Next, I found this four piece set of these clear glasses with this blue rose. I thought that was so pretty. I can't wait to get those in the shop. Four for 20, they are beautiful. Now I can't figure out the brand on them. I put in Libby, but there's no Libby Blue Rose that's coming up like this. And then um, the only one that did was Corel, so this might be a Corel glass. Either way, I'm gonna do some research and it's probably gonna go four for 20. I'm not a huge false graph grabber. Like I don't grab everything false graph. It doesn't really do much for me um, unless it's something that's like simple and clean and pretty or something that has like a lot of texture and looks really cool and unique those are the pieces that i like i don't just gravitate towards it because it's false graph but this little set of mugs really got my attention because i feel like this green like hunter green kind of i don't know aqua marine green combination thing it's it's coming back i feel like this green color is going to be making a comeback and i I don't know, I just couldn't leave them. So I was very happy that there was a nice four set that I can get cleaned up and like real nice and polished. And they are false graph. And it is this kind of like a hunter green black stripe color. Isn't that cute? I feel like this could totally be a thing coming up in the fall and the winter. Like how not, it's so cute so pretty so i did get a four piece set of these they were a dollar a piece and they do have the false graph down at the bottom usa all that good stuff and these are very nice like the only thing that's on here is hard water that i can actually get cleaned up like i feel like these could be a thing now so pretty so i got those next i found two starbucks coffee mugs these are 2008 it's the plain white mug with the siren and these are a little wonky they're not like perfectly round so that's kind of what got my attention the fact that they're tall and slim and they have that little wonkiness to them so they're like perfectly imperfect they were $1.99 a piece now that's kind of high but Starbucks mugs the one that I have in the shop I am listing for eight dollars it has a lot of traction I'm not gonna lower it so these would go for an easy 16 bucks for a set of two because they're pretty, they're a little unique, they've got some age to them. So yeah, I'm excited about these. I thought those were very nice. I'm gonna do some research into these and see what the set will sell as. I know a lot of people like them in sets more than the single. That's why that one is sitting for so long, but I'm just gonna leave it there as it is. And aren't these like, just so cute, I love them. Anyway, these were two bucks a piece and I will be putting those into the eBay store as well. Next, I found this. Now, this actually comes in a set of two. It is the Beauty and the Beast mugs. This one was only a dollar. So anything a dollar for a nice, huge Ray Dunn mug, that is worth it. Because even if I sell it as a single piece, it'll still bring in quite a bit of money. It's not too big. It can fit into a small box. It can be easily wrapped. So all of that in combination makes this worth purchasing, even though I know this isn't like a highly sought after piece. Plus, what if a guy wants a Ray Dunn mug and just wants to call himself a beast because he's like beast mode or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, one mug, not bad. Because doesn't it change? It changes like the purpose because you have the beauty and the beast. So like you're calling the woman the beauty and then the poor guy is like the animalistic beast and it's just not attractive. But then if you just have one mug by itself, you're calling yourself a beast because you're in beast mode. I like that one better. Anyway, got that. That's going to be going into the shop. I thought it was great. It is the Ray Dunn line. It was only $1. So super excited about that. I did pick this up for the hubby because it was 89 cents and it's the gorgeous olive green color that I really like. It is the Hunter brand. Um, I'm assuming this is from Target. It's, it looks like this. It was 89 cents. And I got it for his bottles of beer. So it's this really pretty olive green color. It says Hunter on the front. It's fabric lined on the inside and it's silicone on the outside. I thought that was great. So I did pick that up for him. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into some exciting dishware. Oh my gosh. For starters, I thought this was Ray Dunn. I thought it was a Ray Dunn bunny. So when I lifted it up, 
I was like, oh my goodness. So I snagged the whole thing. It was a stack of plates for eight bucks and they are dinner plates. But when I got home and I looked at them, I was like, oh no, they're not right done. And I paid up and you know, whatever, because it'll sell, right done will sell. It's just simple. But it was better than I thought. So these are the Pottery Barn little bunny. He's so cute. It's the most precious little bunny ever. Look at him, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are actually Pottery Barn dinner plates. The best thing is, is that a set of four of these sell from $79 to $128, $128 recently. And I have a set of eight, so I'm not gonna waste any time getting these listed into the shop, and I don't care how long they gotta sit, somebody's gonna want them, and I can't wait to get them sold. Anyway, they were eight bucks for all eight. They're all the same print, and they're all adorable. You can see they all have that like kind of organic-y, shape to them not too perfectly round i like them they have this gorgeous crazing on them it just adds so much texture to it i love when pieces have crazing you can see like the change in color here there's like it's just i love crazing and these are going to be going into the shop i'm going to list them for 100 and just see what happens next i found these these are the affetti handmade in italy penne pasta plates and these plates go for some money I was excited to find them I saw the made in Italy tag I knew that it was gonna be something nice so of course I looked them up and I'm definitely gonna get these listed I'm very excited I think I'm just gonna put them as a set I don't remember the exact sell price um, because I was looking up so much stuff yesterday it's kind of like all a blur but definitely worth it so I'm so happy to have two of these to get them listed. This is the penne pasta. They have dishes like this that have like a lot of food imagery. It kind of looks like there's food in the bowl. They have uh, veggies and different pasta styles and pasta with veggies and stuff like that. So this one, I liked it. It's very simple. It says penne, has the pasta, very clean. So there's that. Oh, and that was $2 for both plates. Gonna make it totally worth it to resell them. Next, I found these leather tassel pink pink bottle openers. They have a retail tag on them for 18 and then they have a store tag on them for 13 and then I got them for a what was it? A dollar a piece because I was like, "Oh, I'll just take this one since it was a buck." He's like, "Oh, we could do them both for a dollar." So I was like, "Yay!" So it was a dollar and I'm going to list these for 10 bucks. Maybe I don't know, like $12 if I include free shipping. I just do 10 bucks. 10 bucks and it's this leather tassel bottle opener. Very pretty. And I did find two, so it's two bucks for those two. Next, I did not know this was a thing like at all. And I just thought it was a cool thing to bring home to the hubby and be like, look babe, I got you something cool. And then the guy that works, um, the counter where I shop at he's real sweet he's a young kid he's like uh, like college age and we always talk about different vintage pieces and stuff like that anyway he saw these and he's like no way I was like I know right they're cool I was like I was gonna take them for the hubby but I don't know I almost told him that he could have them but look they are the snap-on tool brand utensils guys so the hubby explained to me why this was such a big deal. Apparently, Snap-on is the brand of tools that like makes mechanics go in debt because they're so expensive and they're so sought after and they're such good quality and one piece goes for like all this money and all this stuff, right? So it was like a total guy thing moment where I'm just like, so I did a good job. And he's like, yeah, you did a great job. I was like, okay. So anyway, I paid $4 for six pieces of utensils of socket wrench things. <laughs> I just thought they were cool to put in the outdoor kitchen for him to have out there and use for different stuff. Anyway, I found it was the two knives or the two spoons. You can see them there. 
then the two knives, and then the two forks. There's one fork, one, or excuse me, there's one large fork and one small fork. Either way, they're forks. So it was almost two complete sets, or I do believe the complete sets come with a knife, spoon, fork, and a small fork. So almost two complete sets. I was very happy to find them for four bucks. That means I paid under a dollar a piece, which is pretty awesome considering what they resell for. I'm so happy. Okay, so this next piece is pretty awesome. We all saw this tray. We kind of passed it around each other to see like who was gonna get it and if we really wanted it. We all debated on it. And then finally I said, if y'all don't want it, I want it because I'm gonna sell it. And I'm glad I took it because it was a $6 Smith & Hawken copper wood tray. Now, this brand is incredibly expensive for what they sell. It's like garden goods. Um, I actually have a watering can that resells for about 40 bucks for a little tiny watering can, which is kind of crazy. But I was like, oh, I think I'll just hold on to it for a while and enjoy it before I ever sell it. Anyway, I won't use this in my house. It's very nice. It is a beautiful piece but I just don't use copper trays. I don't know. I, I like to use like old wicker trays. So that being said, it's a gorgeous piece. I really like it. It's six bucks. It's huge. It still has the tag on the back. The only thing is that it needs a little adhesive to tuck this little piece back in. Aside from that, there's nothing wrong with this tray. So for $6, that's great because it resells for about $75. I think that was a good job. Before we go into some craft goodies, I'm going to show you guys the last pieces that I got. I was super excited about these. I love this kind of like cut glass pieces. They are beautiful. It's an amber glass. This texture, it's so funny. My mom had all this stuff when I was little and I was always like, okay, whatever. But now I absolutely love it. So it's these gorgeous candle holders with that beautiful texture, oh my goodness. This glass is exactly why I decided to do our signature chicken wire backing on our hutches because it comes through and it lights up this glass beautifully. When you look at it, it's just got gorgeous texture, beautiful light. I wonder if I'm so attracted to this glass because I am a Scorpio November baby and my stone is topaz. That might have something to do with it. Anyway, they were only a dollar a piece, so I did get both. Check that out. So beautiful. Beautiful candle holders. And you can turn them into trinket trays. You can turn them into whatever you want. They're just very nice. Nice glass. Now we can go ahead and move into some craft stuff. Starting off, I found this roll of Cricut black vinyl. It was only a dollar, so I had to get that because you can never have too much Cricut black vinyl and it was new so that it made it even better found these these are the close to my heart double scrubbers this one is the blue and white it looks brand new I mean it looks like it's never been used it's beautiful very clean the whole box is like clean no stains or anything and I believe these are for cleaning your acrylic blocks and stuff this one is new as well in the pack so both of these are going to go into the eBay store. I don't think they resell for much, so I might just do them as a set or maybe individually. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'll put them into the eBay store. Anyway, they were $1.99 each. I thought that was fair. I found this huge stack of hard card stock. I wanted to open it and see. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is very thick cardstock oh my goodness I knew it when I grabbed it because it was just like solid <laughs> I knew it when I grabbed it because it was just solid and that to me means quality and I shopped at Hobby Lobby and Michaels for a very long time looking at prices and finding deals and I know heavy cardstock is expensive especially something like that, like borderline cardboard. It was only two bucks for this ginormous stack of heavy cardstock. That is awesome, I'm excited about that. 
Next, I found this Project Life Becky Higgins kit. This is the strawberry edition for four bucks. It's brand new, looks like that. Now I can do two things with this. I can just use it to pack on the ephemera into my junk journals. I've used a ton of ephemera in junk journals, not only creating them, but packing it all in to coordinate with the junk journal so whoever buys it can actually continue to create in the same theme with what I've already created. That's been a really great way to kind of go through my ephemera and actually use a lot of it by gifting it or giving it with the purchase. Anyway, I'm gonna look this up, see how much it goes for, it might get listed because I for sure don't need it. If you don't know, I have a ginormous size craft, well, the room isn't huge, but it is completely packed with amazing goodies and gifts that I've been gifted over the years from friends to the channel. It's amazing. Next, I found this. This is the Martha Stewart Crafts Paper Stencils. These were $1.99. These are kind of gonna be a personal item because I know they don't resell well, but you always need stencils, right? Like for different craft projects and just little different things here and there, school projects and all that. So it was only two bucks, it's brand new. All of the stencils are in there. It hasn't been opened yet. So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. I think it doesn't sell much more than like five bucks online. So it's not even worth selling. Now this though, this is the Buchilla Bunny Stocking Kit. And it was $4. Guys, I can't, I can't, I wish I could sew and stitch and like crochet and do all those things. This thing resells for $75. Okay. And that's like a fair price from the listings because it sold for more than that. But I think $75 is a fair listing. If you go like on average between the different costs, that's crazy, but not crazy in a bad way. <laughs> like it's awesome. So I am super excited to get this listed. It's brand new, in the pack, never been used, has all of its bits and pieces, new old stock. So that to me is exciting. This was from 1993. Oh, so cute. Look at her. I love that. Okay, so in the times of the now when there's a lot of people with nothing but time on their hands at home and can't really do much or don't want to go out into the world and do much, I found this. This, oh, they had two different prices on it. The DVD had its own price of $1.99, but it was in there like this. And then the booklet had 99 cents. So I'm assuming they thought... I'm assuming they didn't know they went together until maybe they came across it and put them together. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Fashion Patterns Studio Sewing Skills Student Packet with examples and DVD, and I got it for a dollar. So I know I can get a few bucks more out of it, and it'll be easy to ship, and so on and so forth. Super excited. And I don't hear the DVD wrecking around in there, so it shouldn't be broken. It's still lined with its plastic all that jazz. So there's that. The last two items are these two here. They are jelly cat swans and they are so cute. They are brand new with the tags. I did pay $4 for each of these, but a jelly cat goes for several dollars. So I am excited to get these in the shop. I actually have other jelly cat animals that I have held on to and just let other kids and kids and boogie play with. I never put those, I never listed those even though they're, they are worth money, but they liked them so I just let them keep them. And I think I paid like two bucks for them anyway so it really didn't matter. But these are not boogies type so I figured why not just grab them, list them, and see what they go for. And they are so cute. This is a mama and a baby. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for my Goodwill haul. There was some other stuff. I had some green overalls that I was super excited to find because they were for painting. I got a jacket for Boogie, I got a workout shirt, um, I got an old school labeler, like the dino one that you used to crimp the tape and it like leaves the indention of, <laughs> of the letter that you're choosing. I got that and some other stuff. But for the haul purposes, 
this is what I got. And that is it. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite find was. Also, just to let you guys know, typically the Monday hauls are a week behind. So the things that you see in this video are already in the shop. So if you want, you can follow the shop and be notified whenever I do post new things into the shop because I am literally hustling. There is so much stuff that you can get done in one day when it comes to eBay that it's incredible. And I am just enjoying every second of it. And I'm so glad that I gave myself this time to dedicate this effort to my eBay store. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell on your way out to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. If you're interested in seeing what we're doing real time at the Bates House, you can follow me on my social medias on my Instagram and Facebook group at the Bates House. Also, everything that I do Bates House related is hashtag Bates House anything. You put it in and it'll all come up. But for now, guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!